Fireman's Protective Gear Worn Article, tentatively numbered number 19. And there it be. There's a three minute video snippet there. I don't recall whether it's substantive or not. If you want me to play it, I will. I believe we got one of our information requests was how much do you need right now to uh, adequately fund uh, a complete protective outfit twice for each fireman, right? And I believe that number is, on top of my head, something around 192 or something like mm -hmm. that. Was that what it was? Right. And so this is actually creating a, a capital reserve fund, and it's initially putting in 200000 right. So obviously, uh, management could then subsequently, if it were approved, could subsequently uh, make sure that all of our firefighters are fully outfitted uh, according to the two per firefighter yep. scheme and still have some small change left over. Uh, this creates a capital reserve fund, so we'll potentially be putting in some amounts of money in that over the course of several years to keep it at some level of funding so that it's there. And uh, the ice thing is it's not going to be in the budget anymore, presumably. If it weren't in the budget, as it has been in past years, what happens like in other topics, the money doesn't get spent, it gets shoved into the unassigned fund balance, and then it gets used for whatever. And so the money that was allocated for protective clothing, for example, is no more. And so, but the, with the capital reserve fund, the money stays in there for that purpose. Okay. The only other concern I have with this Warren article is um, that the Board of Selectmen are the sole agents of dispersing the money. And I'm not sure exactly what the necessity of that is. Um, and I don't have a really huge problem with it either. Uh, but I would also point out that uh, it probably all specified that the town meeting can do whatever it wants with any fund it wants at any time it wants to. And it probably should specify that in the Warren article just for clarity purposes. And that's all I have to say on this. Anyone else have any comments on this Warren article? I, I think Mike. it's a I think it's a good idea because hmm. the other yeah. capital reserve funds that we have set up over the years, this, this, these protective gear come due every 10 years, basically. Well, yeah, not including the turnover, which is more right. rapid. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so you, you, if you plan ahead, you have that money there to replace it when it needs to be replaced. What mm -hmm. we've done is got a lump of money done part of it, but not all of it, and then went a few more years and got another lump of money and did part of it, but not all of it. Right. So you, your 10 years are spread out every three or four years now instead yeah. of 10 years, and you end up with a lump and a lump, and we're going backwards instead of keeping up with it. And I think this would be more consistent, mm -hmm. and it also will be spent for this and not something else. Mr. Lover. Yeah, and I want to commend the Selectman Barnes because if you remember, this discussion came, of, and this is a great team, this discussion came result even before the Chief AOC came in and we had discussion. Right. And, and I think Regina rightfully said uh, at one of the meetings, I mean, this is part of their job. They need this turnout gear. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's quite, in talking with the men and women of the fire department and certainly up through Chief AOC, and we all understand it, to Mr. Pluff's point, um, I, I like the way this reads, and I, I absolutely think it's it's the right way to go on this. And it, this was okay. something that we had through your chairmanship. We talked about this with it, and kind of got the spearhead. But that was good, and I, I think this is another example of money. This will be money well spent. This is part of their responsibilities. They need this gear, and now they're going to feel good about it. So, Mr. Lebranch, you may remember when Chief Ayot was sitting right there, that I asked how many of the 39 firefighters have a second set of gear. And he said, none of them, okay? This is the result of that. No, so, no, do I remember it, Mr. LeBranch? I have the video snippet. I can I'm play it for you if you like. You don't need to because it's <laughs> playing in my mind right this minute. <laughs> so 39 I, sets I, in I, case anybody I, doesn't I, remember. I, okay. I think we're all have been in, well in advance of this, <coughs> this is good. evening agreed that this is necessary, the actual acquisition of this oh, gear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
the fact that we're using the unassigned fund balance is noteworthy. Mr. LeBranch, you have more to say? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Would it be safe to say that um, I could move this and recommend it <laughs> to well, this committee? Let me finish with my comment. Or do we have, I, uh, there are all kinds of questions that let need me to be asked. With my comment. So it's being used as the unassigned fund balance, which I don't have a problem with in this particular case because this is actually a, a need that is, you know, a high priority need. It's a Absolutely. safety thing. Uh, but it's really a public safety. It's not just firefighter safety, it's public right. safety. Right. Um, and so I don't have a problem with using the unassigned fund balance with this particular thing in mind. I do have one minor concern, maybe it's real, more than a minor concern, is that this should also read that if this all article passes, which I'm sure it will, then the money that's in the budget will be removed for the protective gear. Because right now there is money in the, mm -hmm. in the budget, right? So that would be the only other comments I have. None of this is a showstopper for me to uh, not vote. Uh, we can subsequently, if we decide that we're, you know, we're all agreeing to do this one article, we could decide in our final review to take the money out ourselves out of the, uh, out of the proposed budget. So for that reason, it's not a showstopper for me. So uh, does anyone have a problem with, with voting tonight on this? No. Great. You wanted to make a motion, Ms. LeBranch. I made it already. I think. Right. Mr. LeBranch makes a motion to recommend to the voters. And I'll second. And Mr. Walburton seconds. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? It's unanimous. On Article 20. 19. 19. 19. Ten tentatively numbered 19. Yeah, right. Uh, those are tentative 19. numbers. Just want to make sure. And that's an excellent talking. point because those numbers change. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's on the Capital Reserve Fund turnout gear slash personal <coughs> protective equipment. Okay. So for the record, so it's 800. Zero, zero. Okay. This is okay. 